Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On today's show, we're back in one of our favorite places, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, out on the Bay of Green Bay. Now we're here with our good friend and guy, JJ Malvitz, chasing whitefish. That's right, whitefish. Now, I love to fish for whitefish. I kind of refer to it as catching about a 24 inch panfish. We're in about 90 feet of water right here, so you get a lot of time on the rod and a lot of time to play out these fish. So don't go away because there's a lot of great whitefish action from right here in Sturgeon Bay. Man, they fight hard. Especially in 70, 80 feet of water. It's coming, I promise. Let's see. Here, we're on the leader, the fluorocarbon. You gotta have that gin clear water. Oh, Whoa, good one. that is a whopper! Wow. <laughs> Look at that one. Holy moly, there's some shoulders on that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. On the goby. Yep, there we go. They are sure slimy, but that is a that's almost like a three pounder there. That's a that's my biggest one. Well, that's a <laughs> that's a one. nice one. That's a nice one right there. I'd say he's about almost 18 inches. But uh, yeah, these are kind of the bread and butter up here in Sturgeon Bay in the winter and uh, congrats on the first Thank one. Thank you. Outstanding. <laughs> there we go, hooked up. That one I was a little more aggressive with. And you know, one thing when you're up here white fishing, when you're fishing this deep water, you know, one thing that's that's absolutely important is to have braided line. You know, the Suffolk 832 gives you zero stretch. And when we're fishing here on the Great Lakes, uh, we got some just super clear water. So having a fluorocarbon leader uh, like that Suffolk 100% fluorocarbon gives you the invisibility component to your, to your setup. And having a, having a match set up, a really high quality rod, uh, teamed up with that super line, um, will just increase your bite percentage uh, of detecting those bites uh, tenfold. But we're coming up the ladder here, the 98 foot ladder, slowly but surely here. And you know, one thing with whitefish is you just take your time. You know, it's not a race to get them up to the surface here. Just nice, even pressure. Let the rod do the work. Like I talked earlier about having a, a high quality rod take those head shakes you know whitefish they do will give you a kind of a little ride on the rod but here comes this one he's a, taking his time to come up here oh I got him stuck on the bottom of the hole here up oh, here he comes there he is but he just pounded it there I'll get this unhooked here there he is littler guy but uh Kind of the bread and butter up here in Sturgeon Bay in the winter, and the uh, the whitefish has really kind of breathed a lot of life into the ice fishing up here. You know, there's we have a trophy walleye fishery, um, but the whitefish is kind of a bite that as soon as we can get out on the ice, it's pretty consistent all till we can't get out on the ice anymore. Um, it's a pretty consistent bite all winter. You know, there's no two week bite window that you got to kind of try to target. Um, if we can get out there, we can target them, and they're a lot of fun, especially out of this deep water.
I tell you what, I had to kind of run to catch that one. Because he came up, I just saw slack in the line. And I really had to reel hard to be able to catch him. But 99 feet of water, JJ. Oh, yeah. 99 feet. Get your deucer out. <laughs> just in Thank, case you. It's a Thank you very much. Big one. I tell you what, there is, when he hit that, there was so much slack in the line, I had to go as high as I could reach to get him. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go to go to the sky with him just to get that hook, especially in this deep of water. Even though you're using braided line, like you said, you had that slack, so you gotta kinda catch up to the fish a little. You know, we talked about this being a pretty technical bite, and that's what I love about it, it really is. Yeah, you know, there's, you know, there's some complexities to it, but we try to make it, uh, as simple as possible, but you know, if the fundamentals of white fishing is having that braided line, uh, kind of going back to that match setup, having a high quality rod, especially out of this deep water to kind of take the head shakes and the and the, the abuse that these fish can put up from that deep of water. Uh, fluorocarbon, you know, we're in the Great Lakes, the water's super clear, uh, comboed up with uh, the braid, zero stretch, equals big white fish on the ice. Okay. A lot of fun, man. Yeah, Thanks for time. the assist, appreciate that yep, a lot. No problem. You know, we talked about um, before about some of the rod and, and obviously the line. Maybe talk a little bit about on the working end. What are we using here for bait and what are you on? So, you know, the thing that these whitefish are feeding on, they're feeding on round gobies, which is an invasive species that's just all over the Bay of Green Bay. Um, the whitefish have adapted to eating those, and what we're doing is we're just mimicking those. Any kind of little soft plastic on the bottom with a little jig head, just kind of tapping the bottom, just in a sense matching what, what they're eating is what uh, is getting us to catch some fish. You know, we've seen an evolution over the years of white fishing here from, you know, the old Swedish pimple or cast master with a floating hook or a yep, sliding a hook slider rig. Uh, to jigging wraps for, you know, we used a lot of jigging wraps with these white fish and, and now to the jigs and plastic. So it's really been a progression, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I think that using these plastics, you just have a, a better chance of catching bigger fish. You know, these fish right here, you know, they're about 16, 16 to 18 inches, so they're getting these three, two and a half, three inch plastics in their mouths pretty easy. Mm -hmm. That's right, fantastic. What a great time. Yeah, good time. Beautiful weather, yep. awesome fish. Thanks, man. Yep. All right, get some more. Yep, let's catch them. You know, whitefish is a very fragile fish, so it's really important when you're on the ice to not let them freeze. Um, they're a very delicate fillet, and if they do freeze, they will get really mushy, and the fillet quality is just not what it should be. So taking a little care out on the ice will improve your catch uh, on the table when you uh, go to fry it up or cook it up when you're back home. <laughs> I tell you. You know, it's funny, these things hit it so hard sometimes that they just put a ton of slack in the line. So I know JJ always tells you, if there's slack in the line, set the hook. And of course, he also tells me hook sets are free. So <laughs> I've been over there watching and I see he's hooked up too. So we've got a double. And I tell you what, hook sets are free. So don't be afraid to set the hook. I didn't know if I had a fish on here or not. I just saw the slack in the line. And what's happening is those fish are coming up from underneath and they're hitting that jig. And it's actually putting slack in the line and you don't feel the fish. You just see the slack in, in the, off the end of the rod. So a ton of fun. I'm telling you what, if you're, if you're at all thinking about coming here to Sturgeon Bay to Whitefish, please do it. It's a very inexpensive trip, especially if you're from right here in the Midwest. Great accommodations here in town. They do a fantastic job. And I tell you what, an incredible fishery. Look, I tell you what, that just never gets old. Look at that. A ton of fun. Whitefish, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. You owe it to yourself. Give it a try. You can come out and do it yourself if you'd like or hire a guide. I tell you what, I'd recommend hiring a guide. This is a whole different deal here on Green Bay. In fact, you know, sometimes you watch the news and you hear about people in trouble or ice breaking off and things like that, don't risk it. Hire a guide, come on out, have a ton of fun. <laughs> Incredible. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and PK Lures.
Here she comes. These fish, they put up a good fight. I think we're in 98 feet of water. Got a long way to go up. First time white fishing and I definitely come back. These are fun fish to catch. Beautiful Sturgeon Bay whitefish. So this is my first time white fishing out on Green Bay or on, on the big on a big lake period um, just haven't had an opportunity to do this but uh, uh, we had the opportunity now and I ended up bringing my son out and he's just having a blast out and it's good to see him enjoy the sport so much as he is and just get into all the outdoor activities um, you know that we that Wisconsin has to offer so it's just been a really fun day getting some of these whitefish out here and um, having a fight <laughs> uh, of such a, a unusual fish that you're not accustomed to uh, catching. So just a, been a great day. Weather's been great. Uh, great group of people. Been having a blast. I can see them. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, buddy. Here he comes. It's a big one. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice slow reeling, buddy. There you go. You gonna make it? Here he comes, nice and easy, nice and easy. Here we go. Nice and easy, here he comes. Here he comes, buddy. Yeah, woo! Whoa. Look at that one, buddy. Big one. Look at that. Outstanding. Nice fish, give me five. Nice work. Look at that. That's a big one. It's almost as big as you. Awesome, good work. This is my first white fish and it's bigger than yours. <laughs> well, you're the professional. Well, check it out. Feel like a big one? Yeah? I tell you what, I was busy, busy watching Eddie catch one over there. Nice job. Yeah, that was nice a big whitefish. Congratulations. That was really good. Well, we've got to be getting close to a limit. Yeah, here, I I, we're getting close. <laughs> I think this might do it. And uh, once we get this one topside, we can head over onto Lindahl's and get these cleaned up and awesome. have ourselves a fish dinner. What do you think awesome. of that, Eddie? It'll be pretty good, huh? I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. So you were telling me about that. They've been uh, cleaning these fish commercially. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's like a big meat slicer. They run them through it. They scale them. It's a nice boneless uh, fillet, restaurant quality fillet. Here we go. That's tiny. <laughs> I think yours is bigger. Yeah, I think right. yours was. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Was yours bigger than that? Uh -huh. oh, oh yeah, it was. I think it was half as big as you. It's a nice one, Kurt. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, thanks a lot, JJ. I tell you what. Let's head over to Lindahl's. We're gonna go ahead and get all these uh, white fish that we've caught. Uh, put together. We're going to head over there. And we'll get those cleaned up.
When you first come into our shop, um, we'll kind of get the details of your order put together. Obviously count how many fish you have and then uh, how quickly you need them in the sense of a turnaround. We'll start with scaling the fish in a tumble scaler, so it takes about three minutes. We have a, a, an abrasive drum that and water in it. It'll just tumble those fish in there and break the membrane down and the fish come out of there free of any scales. Uh, from there, we'll cut the belly fin off. We will gut the fish, take the head off and prepare it for the filet machine. Uh, at that point, it goes into our filet machine. We have a Pisces FR75 filet machine, which is a fantastic piece of equipment, it makes our life very easy. A very high yield filet machine. Uh, yield is higher than a human being could probably filet it and certainly 10 times quicker. As they come out of our filet machine, they'll drop into a, uh, the, a initial freshwater bath. We'll stir them up, get all the, you know, as you know, whitefish can be slimy. That first rinse will take the better portion of the slime off. They're going to a second rinse. Uh, we'll agitate that a little bit, and then they go onto a table where we start the pin bone process. We manually cut out that pin bone. We do a V cut down the filet. That's the only part of our process is really kind of hands-on. And from there, we put them on a drying rack. We'll pull some of that moisture out of them before we vacuum seal them. We put them in a, a high quality cryovac bag. From there, that cryovac bag allows you to, to refrigerate it or freeze it. So when you get home, all you do with your white fish is park them in the fridge or freezer and your hands off. So we just provide that solution to a problem that every ice fisherman has when it's seven below zero in Wisconsin is, how do I take care of my fish? So if we can do something for you, stop by. Well, we're here with Paul Moline, the owner and we've got a special treat tonight, right? We're doing some whitefish that we caught out on the bay. So tell us about the recipe and tell us how you're gonna prepare those tonight. Okay, so one of our favorite ways to do it is, on the, you, obviously you can use beer batter and fry it and this and that. We're going with more of a gourmet style tonight. So it's a, called a whitefish Parmesan. Mm -hmm. And the consistency, consistency comes from, there's, there's fresh garlic, fresh squeezed lemons, a little bit of mayo, uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese, uh, some garlic powder, and then some secret herbs I can't tell you about because it's our <laughs> little secret recipe. And we put it on there and then we broil it and the, it melts. It's got a real nice Parmesan golden finish to it and the fish is just fantastic. I can't wait to give it a try. You know, I think a lot of people are unsure how to make white fish and it's a very, very good meat. It's, it's, it's excellent fish, but it's very delicate. So is there anything special you do to the fish to, to prepare that or to take care of that? Well, it's always best when it's fresh. Right. Um, I think the mistake a lot of people make too is if they do freeze it, when they bring it out, you know, a lot of people don't have access to well water that's, you know, city chlorine water and things of that nature, and they'll use it to rinse the fish. Oh, and because point. it's so delicate, that really breaks the fish down. So my suggestion is if you don't eat it fresh and you freeze it, once you cut the package open, just set it on a paper towel and actually get, let it get a little dry on its own. Hmm. Don't rinse it underneath the water, and I think the texture and the consistency of the fish will will stay a lot better for them. Well, great tip, Paul, I appreciate yeah. it. I can't wait to get in the dining room and give this a try. Let's head out to the dining room. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Markham Technologies and Venom Outdoors. Now I can tell you firsthand that whitefish that Chef Paul prepared was absolutely delicious. If you're in the Sturgeon Bay area, do yourself a favor and check out the folks at the lodge from Lethem Smith. You'll be happy you did. Now, if Door County is on your destination list this year, make sure to log on to the Destination Door County websites right here on the screen. They've got information about accommodations, attractions, and a community calendar. 
Now, if you want to head to Green Bay and fish for whitefish with our buddy, JJ Malbitz, his information's right here. Give him a call. Now, he books up fast, so make sure to plan your trip early. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Cold Nation Outdoors and Mountain Dew. <laughs> Brooke's doing the next one. You see that? They're gonna be watching that at home and be like, boy, I could have set the hook better than him. <laughs> that was our huge fish. Yeah, was. Can't catch fish today and I can't do TV either. <laughs> way. It would probably be huger than the camera. Why don't you take it out? Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master.